in today's video we are going to talk about uh, loops so not just the basic idea of loops because we have already covered the basic idea of uh, loop and then we have had a video on uh, uh, for values loop and then we had a video on for each loop so we already have three uh, videos on uh, different aspect of loop this video is particularly concerned about what we call nested loop or you can call it double loop or multiple loop or a loop within a loop. So just uh, as a refresher, uh, there was a for loop in Stata uh, and the syntax was we write the for loop, then uh, a variable name, whichever it can be, we just use i. So generally we use i. So let's just say we have different years from year 2001 to 2010 and we want to display uh, the uh, word year, the string year, uh, with space right and then after that we want to display 2001 and then in second iteration we want to display 2 2002 then 2003 and so on and so forth this so the the idea is not to display these but for the demonstration purpose i'm using the display command and displaying the years in uh, in the output uh, window but you can use it with any command so you can use it like this summarize I'll just say price or any other variable if if year is equal to let's just say um, 2001 and this I would keep on changing it would start from 2001 and it would uh, iterate uh, uh, till 2010 by increasing uh, with the value of one okay so i'm just going to use the display command let me go back towards that so if i execute this command it would display uh, all these years right and the way it would display is it would write year the word year and this is coming from uh, this uh, uh, display command and this string because we have used inverted commas and then this i would come from here but again this is the basic idea of uh, loop and this have been covered in other videos i would give the link in the description for those videos you can go back and uh, have a look at them uh, we would directly move towards our uh, idea of this video which is nested loop so what is nested loop we have a loop and then within that loop we have another loop so let's say we have years and for each year we want to perform certain analysis on each month so we have 12 months in each year so that way we have 10 years over here and then we have 12 months so that is around 120 different commands that we need to execute but rather than uh, writing those 120 commands separately we have used um, nested loops so what this would do is let's look at the uh, second loop first and then we go towards the outer loop uh, or rather start with the first one uh, in either way uh, it would make sense so for e, for values loop we would we would have uh, we would start with 2001 and move to, to towards 2010 and then within this uh, set of curly brackets which is the first loop we have another for values loop and now we are using a different uh, set of variable name uh, you can have multiple alpha alphabets or alphanumeric name but i just use m or i or j for convenience purposes so now we have different months starting with one and it would move towards 12. so what i would do is i would use display command so i would display year the word year the string year then it would write 2001 because in the first iteration it would have the value 2001 then we would write uh, the word month and you can see that before month uh, the word month uh, we have a space over here and if uh, okay and then we would write m which is coming from here so this would be the first month or second month or third month so on and so forth if i execute this command you would see starting with uh, 2001 you would see year 2001 and month one then we have year 2001 month two and so on and so forth we would have these 12 months so these 12 are coming from the second uh, set of loop 
and uh, this ears are coming from the first set of loop right and remember uh, how i said i have these spaces over here and if i removed these spaces and uh, executed this command again you would see that how the month is attached with the year so that's why we have space over here which is uh, separating the word year and the the year uh, number and that and the same we have this month uh, with the month we have space before and after the month so it looks uh, more readable to the human eye right it doesn't matter for the data but for the human eye it would be more readable so this is the concept of nested loop we can also have similarly we can also have nested if else statements right but uh, that we would come uh, cover some uh, other day so thanks for watching this video uh, do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon